the 2017 Commonwealth Youth Games is going to be taking place in Bahamas and will be having 26 athletes representing the country and they will be participating in about seven sports but how ready is the athletes and of course for the people in charge of these young athletes that will be going to Bahamas it's going to be starting in July and uh, initially the campaign was supposed to start it's supposed to start in May we're already in May May to June, that's the proper time. Well, the grassroots developer talking about uh, Demola Are, he will be joining us from Abuja Studio to tell us more about this, how ready the ministry already they are for these athletes and what they've done to ensure that since the venue is ready, for 70% ready, and how ready will Nigeria athletes be come uh, June. Good morning, welcome to the program. Now, for Nigerian Good athletes. Good morning. Okay, uh, the, the, the team actually visited Bahamas, you know, earlier this month, and you inspected the facilities right there in Bahamas. And it was, of course, you, you guys said it was 70% ready. For Nigerian athletes, do we have a team that is going for that tournament? Yes, um, the visit uh, by the Honorable Minister and myself with the NOC President, um, Secretary General Tudekokwala to Nisau, Bahamas. I was actually to check out the facilities. And um, like you rightly said, um, the facilities are ready. And uh, for, Niger for Team Nigeria going for this program, um, you will recall that last year we had the second edition of the National Youth Games. And the purpose of the National Youth Games was to tap into the talents that are bound at the secondary school level. Some of these athletes have been identified. They are currently training in their various states. And um, come 1st June, they will be moving into camp for six weeks before leaving for Bahamas. And I can tell you, uh, with what we've seen on ground, these athletes will definitely do the country proud in the sports designated. Um, in terms of the sports, which of the sports um, will uh, Nigeria be featuring in? Uh, in the Bahamas. How many? Yes, we are looking at um, athletics, boxing, swimming, judo, tennis, cycling, and beach volleyball. These are sports in which we have comparative advantage when you look at our performances within the 71 Commonwealth nations. Okay, now over time, if you check from 2000 when this uh, youth Commonwealth Games started, Nigeria has won about 11 medals. That's, you have six in gold, about three silver, and two bronze medals. Now, in all, what's going to be our target this time? Because you said all the athletes are training in their various states, and come June 1st, they will come to camp. Yes, we came 7th at the last games in Samoa. That was 5th to 11th September 2015. Uh, without effective and adequate preparations. Uh, I can tell you right away that the minister is very much interested in ensuring that these athletes are prepared um, to face their opponents when we get to Nisau in Bahamas. And I can tell you that with the level of preparations and with the six weeks camping, which will dovetail into the departure to Bahamas, the athletes will definitely do us proud. Yeah, if we're talking about six weeks now, they're starting camp June 1st, and uh, the tournament is starting 19. Does that mean they're going to go on training tour, or all the camp is going to be done here in Nigeria? And where will that be? We, we, this is a developmental program. We have um, the facilities on ground in all these um, sports. The campaign will take place at the hostel in package B of the National Stadium in Abuja and um, all the coaches are on standby, the athletes have been informed and um, we, we, we have everything on ground, uh, the equipment are also available and I can tell you consistency and constant practice training, exposing them to other athletes within the country. These are kids. We don't need to take them outside the country for training. If we do that, that means we don't really know what we are doing back home here. So we have the facilities on ground. If we don't want to put everybody in Abuja, we can also move to Lagos. But I can tell you that the National Stadium in Abuja, we have what it takes to train these athletes to do Nigerian proud at the Games. 
No, sometimes some of the athletes usually uh, talk about the fact that they're not used to a particular weather, and we know that these are teenagers you're taking down to Bahamas. So when are they going yeah. to travel to Bahamas to get used to their weather before yeah. the championship starts? Yeah. Well, yes, this was noted when we went for the inspection of facilities. Even as adults, it took us two, three days to adapt to the time changes over there. And um, the minister noted that we must leave on the 12th. The, the, the Games Village will open on the 16th of July. So the athletes will leave on the 12th. We arrive on the 13th. So between 13th and 16th, they must have been able to acclimatize. The weather in Bahamas is just the same thing with what we have in Abuja, if not hotter than what we have in Nigeria. So the, it's just the issue of the time. While we are sleeping here, they are already at work over there. So they need to adjust to that timeline. And once that is done, the athletes are good to go. Okay, um, hopefully that's done um, you know, in, in preparations uh, for the games itself. Uh, let's talk about the, the, these athletes and themselves. I mean, what are you doing? What is being done to actually ensure that eligible uh, athletes actually represent Nigeria? Like I said, it's developmental and um, you know, certain ages um, are not expected to actually uh, go to that competition. Yes, um, at the last youth games, the, the youth games we had normally have in Nigeria is meant for under 17 athletes. We deliberately made it so, so that the following year when, these, when we're going to have the Commonwealth Youth Games, these athletes will still be eligible. Not necessarily being 17 years old, you could be 14, 15, 16, so that you can attend the Commonwealth Youth Games. And apart from that, we have enshrined in the hearts of the coaches and directors of sports that look... No matter the science or no matter the technology to determine the age of these athletes, you are the people managing these athletes. So make sure you bring underage or the prescribed age group for this program so that Nigeria will not lose out when we go out for international programs. So I can tell you age group cheats will not be part of this program. The athletes have already been verified to be within the age limit and that is what we are going to do. Okay, now when are we going to have the names of these athletes? Because we know we're going to be having 26 athletes in seven sports. And you mentioned all the sports plus tennis, judo, boxing and all that. When are we going to have the full list of all these athletes? Yes, um, we cannot give you a final list as I'm talking to you because we are still going to the camp. The purpose of the camp is to bring in the established under-17 athletes and the athletes identified at the last games in, in Elori. Also, we've been having some programs all over the country. We, have, we, are, we are going to invite these athletes so identified to also come to camp. So it is at the camp when the coaches are now fine-tuning their skills and making sure they blend into what we expect that we can now determine this particular athlete will be going for this, this particular athlete will be going for this. And also, we have to take note that during camping period, during training, there could be injury, and um, nobody pray for that. But if that happens, that athlete cannot represent the country. So we, we have a pool of athletes that we can easily tap into. That is why we cannot, as, at, as I'm sitting down in front of you this morning, give you specific names of athletes. No sure athletes as at now. The camp is open. We have open mind in the selection. Once we do it, once we meet up with the um, required time or the required level, the standard where we expect then you will definitely be selected to represent the country. No sentiments. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Ademola Are for talking to us this morning.